And just like that, tonight the Mega Douches are going old school with Saturday Night's main event. One of the best things that used to happen on WWE was Saturday Night's back in the day, buddy. That's right. That's right, Chad. We're going to talk about uh, Saturday Night's main event and uh, kind of our memories of watching the show, kind of what we remember. And uh, I don't remember a whole lot. Uh, again, I was like four or five. <laughs> but um, yeah, kind of just recollect about... Um, Saturday Night's Main Event and how awesome it was and um, yeah, take it away, Jack. Well, I'm, I'm, you're the young one, man. What's, your, the, what's your first memory of Saturday Night's Main Event? My first memory of Saturday Night's Main Event is when Hogan and Mr. Wonderful, Paul Orndorff, yeah. steel cage match yes. for, the, for the World Championship. Um, God, I must have been three or four. It's one of like the first memories I really have. Like, of my life. I remember, because my dad got me into wrestling, and uh, I remember him just being like, oh, it's Saturday night, we're watching WWF, and just being in, like at the time, we had like the old wooden TV, yeah, right? Yeah. And uh, just watching it as like a little kid and being like, oh my God, this is awesome, right? Yeah. And that really triggered like my love for wrestling. Um, Instant Hulkamaniac, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Instant. And that was honestly that was a great match that night. I mean, I watched the I watched it back then too. I mean, it was one of the, you know, it was a steel cage match between uh, yeah. Mr. Wonderful and the Bob cool Wonder. blue. The yeah, blue, there was the blue. Cage. Yeah, it yeah. was a blue cage, you know. Yeah. And it was like you know when they bled, they bled for real because that was steel. Yeah. And an uh, interesting fact: um, when Hogan came out with his like Hulk still rules uh, DVD, he talked about that match, and they went hard. Like they really hit each other hard for hard, no. real like back of the head like areas certain areas you're not supposed to hit the guys back of the neck face in the skull but they were like nope boom like yeah. chair shots like hammer it fists a, it was a, it was a great match i mean yeah and at that point um they were both using uh, i'm a real american music right so they yeah. both came out to that so it was just yeah. That's you true. know, and then I you know the, the finish of the match was uh, it was actually a photo finish. It was the first time in WWE history, I think, that they used instant replay because yeah. Hogan and Orndor's uh, feet both touched the floor at the same time. Yeah, outside was, the cage, yeah. and then was, just yeah. the, the double jump right yeah. down. And then they had the both referees. Ref, yeah, yeah, and then they yeah. had the you know I'm real American music, so yeah. it, was, it was winning. So that's yeah, you know, it was a you know a great night. It was you know one of the better paper, like not pay per views, but I mean that was free, right? So that was yeah. the, that, that was the best part of it. You know, you got all all your favorite wrestlers that you don't see that like you used to see on Saturday mornings and stuff like that. You wouldn't right. see them there. You'd see them on Saturday night events. So and this you know, was like you stayed up extra late on NBC on Saturday yeah. night. You know, Channel Five. You were ready so to go. Pumped. Yeah, like yeah. oh my god, Saturday night. Yeah. Saturday and it was like you know you got to stay up late. It was like eleven o'clock. You know, yeah. it was you know right before Saturday Night Live. It was you know that's right. It, it was, was amazing. Yeah, it preempted it uh, Saturday Night Live. You, you know? know, and then they featured some amazing matches back then. Yeah, yeah. You know? um, again, like uh, another big one was the whole. Uh, leading into WrestleMania 4, so Hulk Hogan and Andre the Giant rematch for WrestleMania 3 for the world title, where they did like the double referee, uh, Earl and Dave Hebner, yeah. and uh, he had plastic surgery to look like the, uh, the other. Yeah, yeah, it was it, it was amazing. Yeah, it was like the the promo after that where Hogan was crying was. Like, yeah, it was legendary. <laughs> yeah, you know, and, the payoff. Uh, what was the payoff? Yeah, what was the payoff? But then what I remember from that uh, watching that match was like. Hogan had whatever Hebner up in like the gorilla press and he just tossed him, just ran and gorilla threw him probably 10 feet over yeah. the ropes, <laughs> like into the other guy. And like, I just, I remember just being like, oh my God. Yeah. Like, but um, yeah, that was like one of the first like dusty finishes in WWF, right? Yeah. Where like Hogan was down, Andre was on top of him, the guy's 600 pounds. And, yeah. One, two, shoulders up. Shoulder up. Yep. Three anyway. They, you know, the bad guys start celebrating. Andre, all the world title, and like, yeah, gives it to, gives it to, to Ted DiBiase, and they're like, no way, what the, yeah. you know, no dice, and then that led into um, WrestleMania four and the world title. Reason they actually did that was to write Hogan off so he could go do the classic no holds barred. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. didn't win an Oscar, but uh, you know, he went some, you lose some, I guess. Yeah. But um, yeah, yeah there was, you know, and that was the thing back then. You know, Hogan had so much power. Oh yeah, you know he only got written off because he wanted to. Like, and that's you know, right? You know, just all the more power to him and his uh, the Hogan rules. Yeah, the Hogan rules. So, but I mean, you know, again, 
brilliant, brilliant, you know, matches that went on. I mean, there was the, the, the start of the Mega Powers, there was yep. the end of the Mega Powers. That was on. actually the end of the Mega Powers. Um, a lot of people think it was Saturday night's main event, but it was actually the main event. They had a spin off that happened on Friday night. Yep. And that's when that took place. They did a tag match with the Twin Towers. I remember this one specifically so well because we had it on tape. I think beta. <laughs> and I watched it over and over again because I would always rent WrestleMania 4, WrestleMania 5, and just rewatch them constantly. Yeah. Probably from you, Chad, at Blockbuster. Yeah. But, uh, and yeah, it was a, there was a botch between uh, Miss Elizabeth gets knocked to the outside, and Hogan carries her into the back, and Macho's like, where are you going, man? Yeah. And basically, Akeem, you know, the African dream, even though he's pure and white, and uh, <laughs> the big boss man, Destroy. destroy him yeah and uh hogan eventually comes back and macho is like what are you doing hogan's like tag me in he's like yeah sure i'll tag you in and then just slaps him yeah and that was the start of the you yeah. know mega powers explode they had a brawl backstage uh afterwards but uh and i'm yeah. pretty sure hogan actually took the fall last night that night no he won oh no, did he, he won yeah. Oh, yeah yeah he uh he did like the body slam body slam to the two big guys he gave one of them the leg drop and one, two, three, you know, <laughs> that kind of thing. But then, yeah, he made, know, yeah. he made his way to the back, and I remember him being like, Macho Man, Macho Man, like, back, going back through the arena. Yeah. Like, there's guys back there, like, mopping and being like, what? Like, yeah. they probably weren't told, like, this was going to happen yeah. backstage. And uh, he made his way to, like, the medical center. And I remember the big thing was Macho was going to hit Hogan with the belt, and, like, he's about to run, and then he had to, like, pause because Brutus Beefcake comes in, but I think he missed his cue. Yeah. So like you could tell Macho was stalling and being like, "What's going on? What's going on?" Like, yeah. <laughs> and then yeah, Brutus comes in. What are you doing, man? What are you doing? Yeah. But uh, yeah, it was it was awesome. It was like a special treat to like stay up that late and yeah. watch Saturday Night's main event, and then sometimes watch Saturday Night Live. But like I didn't really get it because I was. So, so yeah. Right? Yep. Definitely. Uh, yeah. Lead into uh, we're gonna kind of spin into Saturday morning wrestling. Um, Obviously, that was a big thing for me too. Getting up in the morning, eating your bootios, <laughs> not yeah. bootios, but uh, Cheerios, probably. And, um, you know, watching Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, all those cartoons, and then wrestling would come on. Yeah. Wrestling Challenge or Wrestling All Stars. Um, wrestling Challenge usually was on a Sunday for me. Oh, okay. It yep. was on the ABC, but you always got on in, like, uh, sorry, CBS would be the, cha the right. superstars. Your memory is probably better than that since you were like, kind of an adult <laughs> and I was like five yeah it's horrible so it, whatever. yeah well <laughs> but uh yeah it was always there was always like an enhancement talent and then they would have like a semi big name come out you know usually Mr. Perfect um, yeah I mean that was the mainstay of the the, the intercontinental, intercontinental, intercontinental title and the tag sure. team titles I mean yes you saw yeah. there was so much tag team action back then right oh but, yeah uh you know the like the heart foundation was always yeah. there you know the rockers they were huge you know, and it even spilled over to like you know, like people may, trying to go to main event feuds like Shawn yep. Michaels and Marshawn Michaels. Michaels. When they broke yep. up on the on the barber shop. That's right. Yeah. You know, that's right. We had like the, sh the Brother Love Show. Yeah, there that's was, right. Uh, the that's barber right. shop. You yeah. Know, Piper's Pit. Piper's Pit. There was so the many. Snake, the Snake Pit. The Snake too. Pit was around. That was early, yeah. early on. Yeah. Um. You know, but I mean, there was a lot of good stuff where they, you know, took off to different places and those little, like mainstay shows in superstars helped build that uh, the brand even more they and had the characters right they had to because this was like before the internet yeah right? exactly. so like if you did if you missed saturday night main event or because back then they only had three or four pay-per-views a year so this was a way to like supplement the audience and get more people watching different and characters. stuffing a bunch of stuff within an hour within an hour yeah there was no it's not like today where you know, it was three hours of raw, but yeah. you know, twenty minutes of wrestling. It was just all wrestling. It would go match, 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 match. Yeah, but there'd be like a promo in between, maybe. Yeah. And usually it was, you know, again, it was like uh, the funeral parlor or yeah, like, yeah. You know, and that would be it. Like yeah. you would, that would be the one segment of the talking in the show. Yeah, which was amazing because there was so much more wrestling. Yeah, and you got to see like you know when so many know, more so much. Stars. Yeah, definitely. You know, like and. When Mr. Perfect was younger and he was first Intercontinental Champion, he had a, a bunch of great matches with Enhancement Town yeah. or yep. like Owen Hart and like just, just uh, Barry Horowitz. Yeah, and, well, yeah. Uh, the Brooklyn Brawler. The Brooklyn Brawler. Yeah. Uh, some uh, other Dangerous Danny Davis. Dave, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. 
Uh, some people started out there too, like um, McFoley. McFoley, yeah. The Hardy Boys. Hardy Boys, yeah, yeah. Um, even AJ Styles. That's right, he did. Yeah, he so did. I think that was Velocity. That was kind of like yeah. They went into like once WWE evolved, they had Velocity and uh, Heat, Heat and Jacked, yeah, and stuff like that. But um, yeah, that's kind of our memories of uh, you know different old uh, school wrestling. old school wrestling shows, particularly on a Saturday, sometimes on a Friday. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that's all I've got. Uh, yeah. If you want to bring your home, let us uh, let us know what you guys think of your old Saturday night's uh, main event memories. Uh, Saturday morning superstars, uh, wrestling challenge on, uh, you know, on Sundays, even old Monday Night Raws. That's right. Yeah. You know. Let us know in the comments and be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And uh, if, if you, you can't wrestle each other, wrestle is. Dig it. See you next time.